everyone, this is Suzanne Dahlberg and I'm here today to review with you the Paper Tray Ink Moments Inked Memory Planner System Planner. This is it right here. It's so beautiful. It literally came like a half hour ago to my house and I thought it would be fun to do a completely unrehearsed opening of, of this planner for you. You can see it's still wrapped in the plastic so I haven't opened it yet. So we're just going to dive right in and get started. The first thing I noticed when I opened it was it's printed in color. It's beautiful. And if you like the paper tray rainbow of color, this is it. It's got it down the side and all the tabs and on the front. And I am just, I'm just really stinking excited about this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this plastic wrap off. I think one of the other first things I noticed about the planner is its size compared to some of the others I've used in the past. And so um, if you have followed my blog for a while, then you may have seen some of my prior videos on how to choose a day planner or some of my thoughts on other, some of the other systems out there. And to be pretty honest, all of the ones I've used are, are bigger than this in terms of the length and the width. This one here measures five by seven and it's about an inch and a half thick. So. Uh, some of the others that I have been using this year um, are about 9 inches by 10 inches, so they're much bigger in, in, in size and about an inch and a quarter thick. So this actually isn't that much thicker than the ones that I'm used to using. It's spiral, spiral bound and the planner, in case you've noticed, it doesn't have a cover because you have a choice of covers uh, from, from Paper Tray and I'll show you those really quick. So um, there are three to choose from. There's this beautiful gray and white striped one with the rosy posy flowers and it says enjoy the journey. Um, can also choose from this gingham plaid one. I think I'm going to use this one as, as my cover. I really love this one the best. And then this gorgeous kind of very modern designed one. Um, it says make it happen on the front. Also, all they're all in the same color scheme so you could switch them out throughout the year if you wanted. So on the first page, it's got 2015 and this planner belongs to. I have a ton of ideas as to how you could decorate this. You, if you're not keen on your own handwriting, which if you're like me, I went to Catholic school and learned the Palma Method. I, I don't know, at, at my age now, Palma Method isn't working out for me. So I might print something or stamp something there once, <laughs> once I get into this. Um, this is just so great. Like it's just so easy to hold in your hand and I, I'm super excited because this will fit in a purse just to like go out to the so store if, if you wanted to whereas the planner I have now I really just carry it to and from work but I do carry it with me you know all day long so let's let's go through this some more so when you open it up the paper is um it's so nice it's like a text it's like textured and super super thick it's it's um I guess it's like the the if you have ordered pattern paper from Paper Tray, then then you might be familiar with it with the texture of this paper. But this is really, I don't know if any of the planners I've used has had paper this thick. Actually, it's really nice, and the tabs are laminated. That is great. Okay, so the first page kind of shows you an overview of, I guess, all the things that this planner is intended for. So obviously keeping yourself organized, focusing, nourish, be active, hydrate, prepare, indulge, journal, and be grateful. Oh, I love the be grateful. That's cute. Um, this first section has 2015 and 2016 year at a glance, all in paper tray colors. And then it has a looks like dates to remember section. So this would be really great for putting in birthdays, if you have a vacation planned, anniversaries. So just really special days um, to highlight for your year can go in here. And I love that every month is a different color. The planner I have right now actually on the inside is just printed in black and white. So this is just this is just so beautiful to me. Okay. There's a goal setting section here. This year I will, and then there's space for you to write in um, some notes on some goals that you might have for the year. The best way to predict the future is to create it. That is so nice. So Jan the January section, so obviously January has passed, so I think I'm going to use this this month as a way to kind of practice before I, I just dive in to using the planner. I might go through some of my old January notes in my old planner and figure out how best I'm going to use um, 
the rest of the year just by practicing in this month. So January is, is colored and it looks like raspberry fizz, harvest gold, and orange zest, if I had to guess. So um, this is the month at a view and there's notes for the sidebar here and oh look at the my planner does not have the holidays marked that is that's good okay then um, here we have week at a glance so each each day is broken up oh so this is a lot like the Erin Condren if you use that system so there's morning afternoon evening with notes underneath in the same in the same color scheme and I really look the weeks I think the weeks are numbered that's week number one Oh yeah, week number two. We, this is really good if you are into doing like weekly scrapbooking, kind of like you've been seeing me do with the um, with the app I've been using. Oh, that it, that'll come in really handy. So each week has its own page, and again, if it's a holiday, it's marked during the week. That is, I like that a lot, a whole lot. Oh, whoa. Okay, here we have, oh, look at every, now, so it goes from weekly to every day has a page. So January 1, January 2, whoa, this is, oh God, I love this. Okay, so it looks like then for every day, you can, you can mark, um, be prepared. So maybe your top, your top three things to be prepared for, your top three tasks for the day three bullet points for gratitude. I really like that. Um, be active. So if you're into working out or, or just trying to track when you work out, meal planning, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a daily indulgence, uh, memorable moment. There's a little hydrate section. So I'm not into this. So maybe I can use it to track how many M&Ms I steal from the M&M machine at work. Maybe I can color code them. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll keep going. So after, so yeah, there really is a page for every day of the month. That is great. Okay, so then then the month ends, and then it goes straight away into into February. Oh, and there's a quote. I guess every month, every month has a quote. Okay, so I'll leave this for February. It says, "Spread love everywhere you go." Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. That is so nice. So February is set up the same way, but it's got it's got a different color scheme. And um, oh, okay. So I'll just skip through. Oh, those are pretty colors for March. I want to look at I want to look at like every single page, but that video would be really really long. Um, so let's see. The pages are really easy to turn, so um, I really love that. I had been using the Emily Lay Simplified Planner and the pages were really hard to turn, and then we had an accident in the house. Maybe that's a different video, but my cover got squished, and so I have been using a day designer, which I like, but I think this will come in handier for me because in the back here, there's some extra stuff. Oh, make today ridiculously amazing. So here we have um, important contacts. There are a few pages for that. And then like a whole notes section, as well as some grid paper in the back. These are, this is really, really great. At the very end of the book, there's, oh, 2015 in review. So you can, you can highlight a lot of the things that happened to you during the year. That is great. So I think this is a really, really awesome planner. It is superb. So I'm gonna go with I'm grabbing my gingham cover. I'm gonna use my, I've had a pair of tweezers here to help me push the little plastic tabs between each of the, the coils on the binding. It just pushes right in. I keep tweezers around for adding bling to my cards, so I don't know what you guys use, but I find I find them to be the easiest. 
The other thing I really like about this planner actually is that the black, the black spiral on the book actually matches the cover. It's not metallic as on a lot of the other planners that are available on the market. I like the black a lot. So let's see. These really are just kind of popping in. I'm just being super careful. I probably don't have to be this careful, but okay. There we have it. I am ready to go. I am gonna soak this in some more and think about. I don't know. I'm scared to write in it. I know I have to write in it. Okay, so I'm gonna um yeah, just kind of take it all in and think about some of the things that I can share with you on this very awesome first day premiering the Moment Synced Planner. And thank you so much for watching. And I do hope that um, if you if you get this, that you'll share your thoughts with all of us on the team. And of course, I hope that you love it as much as I'm sure I'm going to. Have a great day. Bye.